I am so nervous because I am completely changing this pattern after all. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another first. So when I was making my glitter gown, I found myself in need of some lingerie making materials. I needed bra cup foam, I needed underwire channeling, underwires themselves. I ended up going to this store in Amsterdam that sells lingerie making materials, stores called Kantje Board for any of you who are local to there. I came in there and this store was amazing. It was a little store, but absolutely stuffed with the most gorgeous laces and accessories and just little frilly things. And something caught my eye. I made an impulse purchase. <laughs> I ended up buying a lingerie making kit. Let me just take it out of the very rustly packaging. I think you can see why I fell in love with this at first sight. This lace is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I did put it back upside down. Here we go. It is just gorgeous. I've never made lingerie before. Um, those cups for my glitter gown were the first thing even close to lingerie that I ever did. But now I have to do it because I bought this kit. <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to try something completely new. I'm going to try making a set of lingerie. So we're going to make a bra, we're going to make some panties out of this. There should be enough material in here to make all of that. Two of these uh, lengths of lace, absolutely stunning. So that's gonna be my top layer. Then I have a bunch of like main fabric material, which is this stretchy olive green shiny. I'm not entirely sure what you would call this material. Then there is some mesh here that I think is bra lining. There's a little bit of cotton that's meant for the panties, I'm sure. This is just a cotton jersey in a matching color as well. And then there's a bunch of accessories. So I have this type of elastic, which my guess would be this is for the bra straps. There's a different wider type of elastic. Then there is a thin bit of elastic. And I my guess would be that this is meant uh, along the like leg holes of panties. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this. They also sell lingerie patterns, but I didn't purchase mine from them. So I'm not sure I'm gonna use all of this material. There is underwire channeling. There is a bra clasp in here. And there is a little baggie of little bows. Adorable. These like little rings and loops for the straps. I do still have some underwires left from when I made my glitter gown. So that's what we're gonna work with. If this works out, it's gonna be absolutely stunning. These colors are just everything. So as I mentioned, I got a pattern on Etsy and I printed it off here. Um, I'm not entirely sure I got the right measurements. I will link the pattern that I used in the description below for the bra and the panties. I printed off the size that I think is probably my size, but I'm honestly not sure. So I'm gonna make a mock-up. I'm gonna use a stretchy fabric I have in my collection because once this material is gone, it's gone. This pattern though comes with unpadded cups. So there is no foam in this pattern and I do really prefer my bras padded. So I still have a bunch of that foam left. So I'm thinking I might do it after all, just make padding and insert that between the top layer and like my lining. I might regret that, <laughs> but I just want to try it. If it doesn't work, I can just remove the foam and make a unpadded bra after all. I am very nervous because this is some lovely material and I don't want to mess it up. Let's do it. We have a bra, kind of, a bra mock-up. I am honestly surprised by how quickly I was able to whip this up. It's obviously a, a very rough draft. Good enough, I think, to try on, see if this fits at all, and if this is the right size for me to continue with. I'm a little bit worried by how easily this fits over my sweater and the bra I'm already wearing, but then again, this is a very stretchy fabric. Let me try this on without all of this underneath and see where we stand. Okay, I'm back. I think it's gonna fit. I also think adding foam cuffs to this would be complete self-sabotage. The stretchiness of the fabric leaves a lot more room for error. The foam cuffs will take away all of the stretch of the cuffs. The way this pattern is set up is this top part of the cup, like the upper cup, is made of the edge of the lace and it's not lined. So if I 
make my cup, I will have to do foam only on the bottom edge. I feel like it might make too big of a difference between the bottom cup and the upper cup. I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting this out of my actual fabric and then we can start constructing the actual bra. One more thing I need to do is check the size of my underwires. There's a little underwire guide that comes with the pattern so I can just literally compare the size of my underwire and check that I have the right one and then we can get started. I've changed my mind. See the thing is my preferred bra type is with padding and no underwires and now I am about to make a bra that has no padding and does have underwires and I just I feel like it's gonna be so gorgeous and I want to want to wear it. <laughs> is there a way that I can turn this into a padded underwireless bra? I think I figured it out. I broke my brain on this, but I think I figured it out. Some of these pattern pieces are meant to be edged by like the, the edge of the lace, just the beautiful scalloped lacy edge. One of those is the upper cup. I can't line this. Now, if I use the foam, I have to line it because I don't want to be able to see this foam. Um, so I'm gonna have to put the base fabric over. But then I thought, how am I gonna hide the transition between like the green backing and no green backing? But I think what I need to do is to line the backing. <laughs> so I'm basically gonna have two layers behind the lace instead of nothing behind the lace. I have this like shiny green base fabric, right? And I have this mesh lining. So if I just sew those together and flip them inside out, I will have clean edges on the outside and then I can just pop my lace on top of that. And I will have like a three layer um, sandwich and that is gonna ensure a little bit of color consistency throughout the entire thing. So I'm going to line all of the lacy bits except for the upper cups. I think it could be pretty cute if those are just um, unlined and only skin underneath, but all of the other bits, so the band and the, the center of the frame here, I am gonna do the backing and lining. So it's confusing, um, but I think I should be able to pinch a layer of foam in between the backing and the lining and make sure that everything looks consistent throughout. The only thing is an underwire bra has underwires to kind of push in the center. Underwire free bras or bras without an underwire don't have that. But that's okay, that's part of what makes them so comfortable. Um, it's just gonna look a little bit different than a traditional underwire bra. I honestly think it should be fine. So I'm just, uh, now that I've cut out all of my pattern pieces and it's looking fantastic, this lace is just stunning. So gorgeous, so, so gorgeous. And it looks fantastic over that olive green that's part of the reason why I want to do this. Um, I've cut all of that out. I think I can go ahead, cut away the seam allowance on my pattern and cut out my foam. Um, and if I make the foam slightly smaller, I can just insert it and I won't have to stitch it at all. And then I can just attach it once I go in with the underwire channeling, because I am gonna do that even just for the looks uh, and to neatly finish the inside so I can hide the seams in there. Uh, sounds really complicated, I hope. I think I have it figured out and that it's gonna all come together once I do it. I am so nervous because I am completely changing this pattern after all. <laughs> Let's do it and we'll find out. Okay, step one is to make the lace on the cup. So I need an, a lower cup and an upper cup. It's gonna go together like this. So I just need to pin these right sides together, stitch along here do that to both sides and then I'll be back. So far so good, they look gorgeous. The pattern says to attach the lining to the lace, which means I have to make my lining because obviously I have an, a slightly different one. One layer of this, one layer of that. And I'm gonna sew along the top, just the top I think, because I need to be able to flip this inside out still. What would happen if I just attach this whole thing to one of the cups? 
Okay, I've got it. <laughs> the trick is to sandwich the cup with the upper cup folded down between the lining and the inner fabric. So when I open this up, the lining is gonna go on the back. The front is look, gonna look like this. And all of the seam allowance is gonna be hidden right behind there. So this is the cleanest way to do it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I think I got it. I mean, this doesn't look half bad. It's a bit bulkier, obviously, than it would have been if it didn't have all the extra layers, but considering, I think this looks pretty good. Let's take a closer look. There's a little bit of bulk here. It's bothering me a little bit. That's the seam allowance of everything that's underneath. I did make sure to trim the foam. So there is no seam allowance of foam, which is great because otherwise it would have been twice as thick. The foam is um, actually sewn to that seam allowance uh, matched up with the sewing line. The foam isn't adding any bulk there, it's all the seam allowance, but it's being pushed out a little by the foam. I will try and iron that, maybe it goes down a little bit more, but all in all, how gorgeous is this? At this point, happy I did it, because it came out much better than I feared <laughs> it might. I am now ready to move on to the next bit, which is the frame, and that's the bit that's gonna go right in the center here. And we're gonna do essentially the same thing, just no foam. But this is the first piece that is going to have the like bare lace at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do from now on is to attach the two lining fabrics together first to create that clean seam that is turned inside out um, before I attach it to the lace. An unexpected problem just arose and that is that I can't sew this fabric. I literally can't. My machine keeps skipping stitches, it keeps jumbling up, I have changed the needle, I have re-threaded several times, but it just, it will not sew this fabric. It's that kind of four-way stretch, odd base fabric that I wanted to use. I don't know what to do. I, I just, I, I don't know how to proceed. I've been trying to fix this for about half an hour and nothing has worked. And pff, I really don't want to have to hand sew this. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Got it. I needed a thick jersey needle. That did the trick. Ready to move on. <laughs> just wasted so much time on that. That worked absolutely beautifully. Look at it. You can't tell at all where the lining ends and it looks nice and clean. There's no raw edges on the bottom. Looks fantastic from the inside as well. It's just a nice clean edge, exactly what I was going for. And it just worked out perfectly. So I'm so, so happy. The next step is to attach the cups. Gonna look a little something like this. And I am just, oh, I am just so excited. My time's up for today, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, we're back, and I just attached the cup to the base. Oh, it's starting to look like a real bra. I am so excited by this. Anyways, it's time to move on to the strap. It's gonna go on the side. So I have prepared my lined lining, my base fabric and the lining, and I'm now about to attach it to the actual lace. And once that is done, I can attach the whole straps to this, or like the, the band, I guess. After that, we're gonna move on to the elastics and um, the closures and everything. Let's keep going.
we're making great progress. The inside is now nicely finished. I have elastic on the bottom. I have my underwire channeling. I've put that uh, on the seams here as well so that it's all nicely finished. It's looking gorgeous. So the next step is to apply my elastic along the edge here on the side like the underarm area and then we're gonna attach the straps but before we do that I kind of want to do the underwires after all I just I keep going back and forth on this but I don't know I do feel like they just make it look a little bit nicer and I kind of just want to try it on with the underwire channeling and if I hate it I can always just take it out again like unpick a little seam and just take it out I was a bit worried that it's too small, it probably is, but it does um, kind of work. <laughs> I mean, it fits and it does make it look much more bra-like, just instantly lifts up these cups. So I'm probably gonna leave it in for now and then I can always decide to take it out later. Yeah, I just, oh, I do think it makes, makes it look better. Okay, anyways, moving on. Um, so I'm gonna apply the elastic along the sides here. Make sure to leave a little loop on the end where my straps are gonna go in. Yeah, we're gonna start working on the finishing touches. Very, very happy with where this is going so far. We're doing great. Uh, this is, I'm pretty much holding a bra here. But I did run into another slight hiccup. I made two straps. Here we are with the rings and the sliders that I have. And then I realized that the pattern calls for four rings and I only have two in my kit. Now I don't know what to do. I need to figure out a different way. There's like a little bit of elastic left at the end here where I'm supposed to insert the second ring to then attach the strap. I need to figure out a different way to attach this. I'm probably gonna have to sew this and yeah, it's gonna be less pretty. Is this not a bra? I am amazed that I made this. It looks so normal. <laughs> very, very pleased with this. I tried it on and it fits perfectly, which is incredible. I honestly wasn't really expecting that, but it does. For the straps, I ended up just doing this just sew down the elastic with two little stitches. I'll give you a longer conclusion at the end of the video, but for now I did just want to mention something I did here is uh, since the inside is a different color than the outside, I used a different color bottom thread um, to the top thread. So at certain points I had the darker green on my bobbin and the lighter green as my top thread. And that just really helps um, to give a uniform look where all of the stitching on the inside is done with a light green and all of the stitching on the outside is done with a darker green. It was kind of born out of necessity as I simply ran out <laughs> of the darker green, um, but I did still have a half full bobbin. But it actually works really well. And now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the panties because we're gonna do part two of this. And I am gonna need more thread, but I might just use the light one all over for this. I cut out a pattern and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out of the fabric. It's gonna be mostly lace and then the front obviously is gonna be the fabric. I'm gonna use this little cotton bit on the inside of course. Let's get started. This should be fairly simple so let's do it. I kind of sabotaged myself when I was making the bra because in this kit there obviously is a lot more of this base fabric than there ever was of the lace. I think the lace was really just meant as an accent but I decided with my bra to cover the entire thing with lace which means that the base fabric isn't exposed anywhere. So if I were to use just the base fabric now it would look a bit 
strange. However, there isn't enough lace to do the panties as well. So I'm having to piece together all of my pattern pieces. This is a strip of lace that is sewn together. It was the last of my lace. This is the front that I've had to run a seam down the center to just about make it happen. And now there is just this, this much I still need for the back. And if I can cover that in lace as well, then it's all gonna be at least the same shade, which would really help um, to make this actually look like a set. Well, good thing I chose a thong pattern. <laughs> at least it's not that much fabric. Oh gosh. The lace being just the accent also kind of explains why all of the accessories, like the, the straps and um, the closure and everything, are a different color and much much better match to the base fabric than they are to the base fabric with the lace overlay but it's fine it's fine it's gonna be fine i'm gonna make it happen and it's gonna work now i just need to attach my lace bits to my base fabric so that i can use them just as one piece and then i can start working on the actual pattern but this is gonna be super simple it's just three pattern pieces i think It's done. I did it. We have a bra. We have a pair of panties. I just, I don't know where to start. First of all, I am amazed by how good this looks, especially from a little distance. I feel like this is something that you could find in a store. It looks like a normal set of lingerie and a part of me was not expecting that. This was always one of those things that I felt like you just can't make at home, but you can. And it wasn't even, no, no. I was gonna say it wasn't even that hard. That is not true, that's a lie. This was very difficult. It was fairly quick, is maybe what I want to say. There weren't as many actions involved in this as maybe you would expect. The pattern pieces themselves are fairly basic, straightforward, there aren't that many of them. The thing that this comes down to is pure sewing technique and precision. You have to be so precise and you have to know your sewing machine very well. The biggest problem, the biggest issue I had throughout this entire process was 100% my sewing machine, hands down. I spent hours um, just trying to figure out the right setting for every type of material that I introduced here because this uses lots of different materials ranging from as thin as just see-through lace to as thick as the foam cups and the elastic and everything in between. Stretchy fabrics, non-stretchy fabrics. It's just a lot for a sewing machine to take and you have to know 
what setting is optimal for each of these fabrics and then which one to use once you combine those fabrics. I didn't know that and after a while it gets very frustrating. <laughs> Um, I think every every single seam I made, I unpicked at least once. I have probably sewn this thing about four times in total and only ended up with one bra. Same thing for the panties, actually, which I wasn't expecting, but it's the same material, so why not? And even still, my stitching is messy. Um, it's not clean. I wish it was. I mean, it looks, again, from a distance, it looks great from the inside as well, but once you look up close, my zigzag stitches are uneven, all of my stitches are wobbly, I have skipped stitches, I have loops where my uh, bottom thread got caught, and it's just, yeah, the stitching is messy. I did not have the proper settings down. Sewing both of these was extremely finicky. Yeah, I feel like this was definitely an advanced <laughs> sewing project. That being said, I am very proud. It, this feels weird holding up underwear <laughs> now to the camera. Um, I was gonna say I am very proud of the results. Considering this is the first time I have ever done this, I think it looks really good and I am just, yeah, I am proud of myself for achieving this. I also have to say that despite all of the troubles and the frustration, this was blood, sweat and tears, uh, I did enjoy it. I like making small, delicate things. The finickiness of the whole thing, it was frustrating, but once I got it almost right, um, it was so rewarding and it felt amazing. I feel like maybe lingerie making is even more of a niche skill than making normal clothes, like a skirt or something. That makes it cool. <laughs> Yeah, both of these patterns were fantastic. I maybe for my first project shouldn't have altered them this heavily, but it worked out and it came out fine and I am very excited. <laughs> You're just gonna have to take my word that they fit absolutely perfectly, which was surprising as well, but I think I just got lucky. Plus the fact that this is all stretch material. The material is quite forgiving in that sense. Um, it's, it's stretchy, it's gonna shaped your body. So yeah, these fit wonderfully. I will once again have these patterns linked in the description box. Let me know what you think. If you have any tips on lingerie making, because I did enjoy this so much, I think I might do this again, although I will probably do it off camera. This isn't something I want to do on my channel very regularly, but I might do it just, just for myself. So if you have any tips, then I would be very happy to know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This was very different, a very different setting project for me. But I really enjoyed it, and if you want to try this out, I encourage you to do so. It's um, finicky, you might have to redo it a couple of times, but it's a lot of fun and it's very rewarding. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see all the other things I am up to at the moment. If you would like to support me through Patreon, there's a link in the description box. Thank you so much for your support, guys. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy, you can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you very soon in my next video.